All right, guys, look, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and we got another good one for you today as we roll on to the 4th of July weekend. Look, we are going to do another beef tallow test, and this time with a uh, brisket, and we had so much fun doing those ribs on the uh, Weber kettle that we're going to hit it again. Oh, yeah. So, look, I cleaned the uh, prepped, cleaned the uh, brisket the night before. I'll roll some of that beef footage in a bit. And I also got the uh, brisket on the Weber at about 7, 6.37 this morning. Again, I'll roll that beef footage soon. Guys, right so look, now. we are three hours in. Let's go in together. Let's take a look and give it a spritz. Guys, real quick, don't forget Sunday night, July 4th, the weekend wine down BBQ chat slash giveaway is happening. That is July 4th, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll be giving away a bag of fuel from Jealous Devil. You definitely don't want to miss that. I picked up this brisket point at crowdcow.com. Last look, they were in stock at seven pounds for $63. Follow the link in the description down below and get yourself $25 off and pick yourself up a oh, man, brisket a point. Steal. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a steal. All right, guys, look, we're a little crispy where the uh, point is closest to the fuel but that's okay, we'll give it a little spritz. I'm monitoring the temperature closely. We're keeping it between that 250 and 275, and I'm hoping this sucker is done by dinner time. Oh yeah. All right, guys, look, let's take a uh, jump back to the night before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So look, I had a, uh, had to get up early. I really didn't want to fidatal around with this uh, cleaning this brisket. It's still semi-thawed. It'll be fine in the morning, but what I want to do is just get a little of this uh, discolored fat off. I want to keep the uh, fat up there at about a quarter inch. So I'm just going to trim a little off. So look, again, I picked this meat up at uh, this brisket point up at crowdcow.com. I do have links in the description for $25 off. At last look, you could grab one of these suckers for uh, $63 minus that $25 with a little shipping. I mean, hey, man, that is a, that's one heck of a deal, I think. That's a good deal. So look, here we are at uh, 6 a.m. As you can see, I got that Weber Kettle Master Touch Premium all getting ready to go. Basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to inject the uh, brisket kind of the way we did on those uh, on that beef chuck. Although on this one, I'm going to follow more of a pattern as you can see up there on the uh, on the screen. I want to make sure I get injected everywhere. And look also down in the description if you want to pick up some of this beef tallow. I got links down there for that too. So look, any time before you apply any rub, right, you want to make sure everything is kind of dry. You don't want a bunch of uh, liquid underneath the meat because when you flip it over with the rub, it's just going to cake it, right? Oh, yeah. And of course, with uh, most of the time when I do a uh, brisket, it is just going to be the uh, three main uh, 
ingredients, which is basically kosher salt, some black pepper, and a little granulated garlic, of course. Now I want a little bit more control over this rub, so I'm going to uh, introduce them to the uh, beef individually. Individually. Here you go. Granulated garlic. I like that stuff. That looks good. That's good stuff. Now this brisket here is thawed out, but it is still very chilly in the center. I put a uh, T-mometer in there. Oh yeah, and we were at about a 45 degrees or so. That's okay. That's rock solid. So look, I got my master touched all ready to go. I got it in the uh, the jealous devil on that snake method. I got some cherry wood mixed in, as you could see. I'm gonna get the uh, pit probed up because I wanna get an exact temperature inside on what is happening. And I'm also gonna stick two probes in the uh, brisket. Oh yeah. There you go, oh yeah. I had a lot of fun over the weekend cooking with this uh, Weber kettle, and I do believe you'll see a lot more of that coming. We are gonna set that timer for five hours. At about four hours in, we are gonna give it a look, and she is looking good. Oh. That is a, a plain water spritz. That's all you need. Oh man, that is nice color. All right, guys, look, we are in the stall. We are five hours in and we have a little bit of work to do now. We are gonna get the uh, brisket off. We will get it on the board. We will get it tallowed up. You'll see that in a second. We will get it wrapped up. But hey, we got to attend uh, to the Weber. We got to get more fuel in there and get it ready for the stretch run. Oh, yeah. So look, just switching things around real quick. The first uh, first step is uh, to get the brisket all uh, tallowed up, like I said, and get it wrapped up and get it ready for the stretch run. And then at, uh, after it's wrapped up and all ready to get back on the pit, then we can uh, tend to our fuel in the pit and make sure we have enough fuel to take it to the next uh, six hours. Oh, yeah. So look, just as we do with uh you know, maybe we put a little beef stock in there. We are just going to uh, use a uh, that tallow, that uh, Wagyu tallow. We will brush the uh, meat. We will also put some on the uh, bottom of the uh, paper. That is going to give us plenty of moisture inside the uh, paper to get this job done. And look, I got links down in the description if you want to pick up some of this tallow.
So look, I'm gonna get this bad boy wrapped up into two pieces of uh, butcher paper. This is pink butcher paper. We will get those probes back in and we will get it back on the pit. So look, what we're gonna do here, cause we think we have another five hours or so to go, I will get some more Jealous Devil in. And I am also gonna use the uh, ring that the uh, Weber gave us. And I am also gonna use the diffuser just to keep the uh, heat off the uh, brisket. brisket will go right on top of that diffuser and all that heat's just gonna come up and around on the sides and just cover that brisket man this is gonna be good guys remember when you get them probes back in the uh, meat you want to be a degree or two or three as when you took the probe out right so you want to make sure you are hitting the same spot yeah that's it All right, guys, look, so as you just saw, we're gonna utilize Weber's diffuser plate. So that's gonna allow the uh, fuel to work around the brisket and keep that heat off the uh, bottom of the uh, brisket, which I thought about even doing in the uh, very beginning of the cook, but somehow just kind of flaked out on it and didn't get that going. But hey, man, it is going now. I will go back and set my timer for another five hours and that'll be a total of about 10 hours and 20 minutes into the cook. And hopefully we are through the stall, obviously, and that toothpick tender. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this thing, man. All right, guys, look, interesting development. We are only seven hours in, and we are showing about 195 to 200 on the... Uh, on the pokies so hey man we got to go in we got to take a closer look like one observation though with that diffuser plate it kind of settled at that 280 fahrenheit inside the uh inside the grill so i just let it sit there since it settled in there and stayed there for two hours i just let it run right there maybe that has something to do with this but hey man let's go in let's get the uh, hand held and take a uh, further look All right, guys, look, we're gonna let this run for maybe about 20 minutes more, then we'll get it off, we'll get it in a cooler, and we'll let it rest for a couple hours. All right, guys, look, 10 hours and about 15 minutes. Hey, man, I will take that any day, and that includes the rest, right? So look, it feels like Christmas in July. I mean, how many times have you said that? Just change the uh, month any time you uh, unwrap a brisket. Let's get this bad boy on the board and unwrap it. I'll reposition the cameras, obviously, and we will get this unwrapped and then a uh, quick taste test and, of course, some closing thoughts. Oh, man. Now, look, you know you're going to have a lot of moisture on, on the uh, bottom of that paper, right? Because you uh, brushed a lot of tallow in there. Oh, man, nice way to giggle. Good. Be 
you got some uh, pretty decent moisture happening for sure. You can always tell a good brisket when you got that sheen on that meat, you know it's moist. Guys, we will rip off a couple slices and then we will take this in for some closing thoughts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. Man, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, guys. Look, I am going to stop the. Uh, I'm going to stop the cut. And man, I hate to say this. I really, really, truly do. But this is about the best brisket that I've ever made in my life. I'm telling you, man. The flavor. Now, for me, the flavor is through the roof. I mean, it, it's cooked perfect. It has it has a lot of juice in here. But again, it's the flavor. You know, it's got the uh, it's got the perfect bend. It just it, it's moist. Again, the the meat, the flavor of the meat has a saltiness to it. That's trust me, it's not overpowering. It's just like the uh, it's just like the beef chuck that I did. The meat itself has a uh, has a slight saltiness to the tongue. That is just flavor, man. I, I don't know any other way. To, uh, I don't know any other way to say it. You know, I am. I, I have to say, you know, I, I am pretty shocked at how how good this tastes. I mean, seriously. Oh man. I mean, this is just a, to me, it's a, it's a thing of beauty, man. I know, uh, there, you know, there's a lot of channels out there that nail brisket. I've always just fallen a tad short. I mean, sure, it's, it, they've been good, but never approached the flavor of, like, of say, like a, a beef rib or even a chuck, man. But I'll tell you, this one is right there, man. This one it just kills it. I'm going to do one more side cut like this and then wrap this up, man. Because I got to get in there. I got to take some snaps and eat this stuff. So we're just going to go right down the side here. Oh. I mean, wow. Oh. This is amazingly moist. Cheers. Like this is about my uh, my seventh cheers. <laughs> wow. Hey man, literally, literally, I'm floored at the flavor. I, ha I have to say, um, you know, I'm gonna wrap this up. I gotta get some thumbs. I gotta get in there and eat this. All right, look, that is it for this one. Uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I'm gonna roll my Patreon and YouTube join members. I'm gonna take this tallow again. I, I have to use it again, man. I, maybe I'll do some beef ribs with it. I got a nice rack in there. But uh, right now I'm sold, man. You know, it just produced about the best brisket that I've ever made. So look, until next time, enjoy your fourth, and we will see you soon.